bow to obstacles. Champions make obstacles bow to them. That's the difference. Excuses destroy the credibility of those who give them. This year, it's all about identity. Who do you want to be? I was born a champion, raised a champion. I got champion in my bloodline, and all I will ever be is a champion. Now when I say champion, I'm not just referring to sports. I'm talking about being a champion in every area of your life. Winning in your business, your health, your marriage, your relationships, your spiritual life. Being a champion is the whole package. You gotta bring that same mindset into every environment that you enter. Ain't no such thing as a part-time champion. Who do you wanna be? See, success starts with self-awareness, understanding your identity. Give this year a theme and then own it. This is the year for your healing. This is the year of promotion. This is the year of abundance, of execution, of discipline, of focus, of marriage restoration. Whatever you want it to be, define it. Successful people start with identity, and then outcomes, and then goals. It's hard to breathe life into a dream when you're choking on excuses. Some seek to be discovered. Others grind until they discover themselves. Who do you want to be? If you don't make that decision, the world will make that decision for you. This year, no more excuses. Setting New Year's resolutions without discipline will only prolong your enslavement to mediocrity. Anybody, listen to me, anybody out there can be successful, but not all are willing to pay the price to do it. Ain't nothing wrong with dreaming big. But to make that dream a reality, your work ethic must match the size of that dream. I get tons of emails every single day from people that are struggling, asking me what I think they should do. The doing is where the predominant focus always seems to gravitate. Losers bow to obstacles. Champions make obstacles bow to them. That's the difference. Losers keep all their focus on the problem, the issue, the situation, the challenge. Champions guard the gates of their mind. First, they tell their problem how big God is. With God, all things are possible. See, sometimes the world gets confused of who they dealing with. So from time to time, you have to remind the world that you are a champion in the season of trial, in the season of struggle. Losers shrink. Champions get bigger, stronger, more determined, more focused. Beast mode, 120, all in. Listen to me. One person who believes in a dream can overcome an army of 10,000 doubters. Who do you want to be? You gotta see the world through a lens that empowers you. You gotta see yourself the way God intended for you to be. The lens I'm talking about, that's your mindset, your belief system, your paradigm. See, people have the false perception that if they imitate the actions of a champion or someone who's really successful, that they will get the same results. This is why so many fail. Success cannot be produced with a mindset that doesn't support it. First, you gotta get your mind right. Next, you gotta get your grind right. Then go out and get your life right. To change a behavior, we must first address the mindset that produces it. Our life is just the sum total of our most dominant thought patterns. So this year will be defined by how many days you can consistently think like a champion. Now people will say, Billy, you are wrong. Success is about taking action. But what the masses don't understand is, once you align your mind with success, the actions will follow. Action is the fruit of thought. Get your mind right. See, people trying to do the actions without changing who they are on the inside. Now you can do that for a week. You can do that for two weeks, 15 days. That's why they say 15 days into the year, people have already broke their resolutions because see, they're trying to act their way into success. You can't act your way into success. You gotta think your way there. Now, let me reiterate my point. Outcomes are produced from mindsets. So decide who you wanna be and then adopt the thinking patterns and the belief systems that will produce it. Now, if you just address the action part alone, 
you're gonna fail. This is why diets don't work. People say, tell me what to eat so I can lose weight. See, their focus is on the doing, the action. When people ask me, what should I eat? I reply, who do you want to be? Let's get the identity right first. You get the identity right first, everything else will take care of itself. If you study the lives of greats, the Elon Musk, the Steve Jobs, the Richard Branson, the Jeff Bezos, the Bill Gates, the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, they're all in different fields, but they all have one thing in common. They know who they are. Self-awareness, success, being a champion, it's all about identity. Who do you want to be? Setting goals without addressing your identity is useless. You can only become and achieve what you think you are. Talent is a slave to mindset. The most dominant thinking pattern shall dictate the fate of one's potential. Discipline is the fruit of the champion's mindset. The masses are merely satellites of the status quo where champions become the gravity that puts the world in orbit around them. See, to sell a dream to the world, you gotta first believe it yourself. If you study great coaches, great leaders, the first thing they do when they take over a program or a business is they address the culture, the mindset of the entity, whether that's a team or a business, a nonprofit, whatever. Vision is the genesis of all greatness. And vision is just an extension of self-awareness of who God is and who God made you to be and what God called you to do. The reason many of you out there are struggling is because you're out of position. You're not doing what God made you to do, what he called you to do. You're in the wrong profession. Inside, you know where you should be. You chase the money. Stop chasing the money. See, the money is the fruit of the calling. When you're in your calling, the money will follow. That's where the blessing is. Stop asking God to bless what you're doing and do what God has already blessed. Don't get confused. Just because you admire somebody's calling and what they're doing does not mean that you are anointed to do it. The best way to impact the world is to be yourself. If you want to be successful, Start with authenticity, then build everything else in your life around it. That's the secret to success. This is the year of simplification. Don't overcomplicate things. Mastering the basics is what produces greatness. Now I gotta keep it real with you. This year, there's gonna be some times if you're chasing massive success that you're gonna feel uncomfortable. But success requires embracing the uncertainty, the impossible, becomes possible for those who dare to embrace the unconventional. To go to the top this year, you're gonna have to think outside the box. Losers bow to obstacles. Champions make obstacles bow to them. Now when you get finished listening to this message, I want you to pull out your goals for this year. I want you to take a pen and draw a line to every single one of them. Then I want you to pull out another piece of paper. And at the very top, I want you to write, who do I want to be? Start with your outcome. Get alone somewhere. I want you to dig deep with this question. See, questions will take you wherever you want to go in life. Wherever you want to go, all you got to do is find the right question that will take you there. You want personal transformation? You want to change your life? This is the question to do it. Who do you want to be? And when you truly awaken to that question, then you set the goals. For now, your goal is to figure out who you want to be. This is why so many professional athletes or lottery winners go broke. See, they think it's about the money. They aim for the money. See, it's not the money that you want, it's the financial freedom that you want. That's why when they get the money, they can't keep it because they don't have the identity to sustain it. Who do you want to be? I close out with this. Let us enjoy the blessing this year and not get lost in it. God is not the author of confusion. So I pray that he gives you divine clarity and revelation as to who he has created and designed you to be so that you may step into that calling with boldness this year. So I'm gonna close this message out with the word and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. I'm Billy Allsbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. The deep end is 
where the living is. But you see, average people are too scared to shine the light, too self-conscious to be vulnerable. But it's from that place of vulnerability that you find greatness, that you find your identity, that you find power, the kind of power that it takes to change the world. The deep is where the living is. And if you want to taste the greatness, you got to be willing to venture to the unknown, to that place that scares you. Stop tiptoeing into your destiny. Get out of that comfort zone and be all that God made you to be. Deep is where the living is. I want you to say this. No more surface level lukewarm existence. Be yourself and make no apologies for it. Stop worrying about what you think are your insufficiencies, your so-called weaknesses, and everything that you think you lack. Set yourself on fire and dive into the deep. Cause the deep is where the living is. And it's time for you to rise and live life on your terms. Authenticity is your weapon. You can't go to the top worrying about rejection. Be yourself and make no apologies for it. Make a declaration of your liberation. Boldly step out onto the stage of the world. Strip down naked and expose the real you. Grab the light of fluid. Set yourself on fire and the world will come see you burn. See, the greats understand this. Their dream is not just work to them. It's a soulmate. Your calling, your calling is your spouse. The legends approach their craft with a different perspective. They're able to perform at a higher level because they attach their mind, body, and soul to what they're doing. Whether it's Beethoven on the piano, Steve Jobs changing the world with his iPhone, Einstein working a new algorithm, Elon Musk putting a Tesla on Mars. These guys aren't working, they're making love to their calling. They're married to the dream, and they speak to that dream in all five of the love languages. They go deep, and that dream of theirs responds. It opens up and procreates with them until they give birth to greatness. Muhammad Ali had a connection, an intimate relationship with every inch of the boxing ring. Awaken to what I'm telling you. Don't believe that voice in your head that says you are not qualified. Your passion and that fire will qualify you for any environment that you want to enter. Once you taste the anointed flame, you will never ever be the same. You have a calling, a gift on your life, and it's time that you go seize the moment, dive into the deep, cause deep is where the living is. I said deep, deep, deep is where the living is. The thing you fear is just an illusion. It does not exist except in your mind. While the average live through their rituals, the greats create from a place of relationship. They own their emotions and refuse to run from who they are. Champions in every area of their life establish rapport. They're loyal to their dream. They understand that the foundation of any good marriage is fidelity. They believe in monogamy, one vision, one goal, one outcome. They don't cheat or have affairs with anything outside their calling. Their purpose is too great to be put in jeopardy by distractions, the devil's vortex. They stay focused on their love. Like an artist, they chisel their own David. They pick up the paintbrush and paint their own Mona Lisa through a perspective that empowers them. A mindset 
that allows them to conquer and slay any opposition that comes against their soulmate. Deep is where the living is. Fearless, pure innocence. They approach their craft. At the deepest of the deep, they dive into the abyss and discover themselves. They reject all trends. They don't chase the fads. They don't worry about what other people are doing, saying, or thinking. They're getting high daily, overdosing on greatness, fiending to be the best version of themselves. Self-aware, anointed with purpose, unstoppable. Aiming for the stars Cause they know all things are possible with God See, it's where the living is Don't let nothing stop you from going there I'm Billy Allsbrooks Blessing unstoppable To God be the glory Deep is where the living is Deep is where the feeling is Grab the light of fluid And set yourself on fire and they will come and see you burn. Truth is the new black, the couture for greatness. Now the world is going to tell you a lie, which is that what you have inside of you to offer the world is not sufficient enough to achieve massive success. They're gonna say your weakness is just too much. Your lack of talent or your background disqualifies you for greatness. The enemy will use anyone and everyone to sow this lie, to plant this cancer of doubt in your mind, to tear down the faith in yourself so that you are vulnerable to defeat. Your future will be determined by the level to which you accept this lie, this false illusion, this accusation that seeks vulnerable hosts to take root in so they can do what it was designed to do, which is to murder your potential to change the world. Now genius, greatness, masterpieces, they're all created from the depths of authenticity. What the enemy shouts is weakness is actually your weapon. The truth is you have no weaknesses, just strengths that you haven't discovered yet. Now the world will attempt to label you, categorize you, and box you in to a belief system that keeps you from being you. The enemy wants you to fall in line with the rest of the sheep he's already mastered and send you off to the slaughter where beautiful dreams are castrated and beheaded on the chopping block of imitation. The only way to survive and thrive is to be yourself at the highest level. You must create, perform, and build your success on a foundational belief that what God put in you is enough. Truth is the new black, the couture for greatness, and you are enough. Staying true to yourself, keeping it real, being authentic has more power to change the world than all the leaders and politicians combined. See, that's the secret. They hope that you don't find that out with the motive to keep you disempowered so that you never find out that you don't need them to change what you want changed. Truth doesn't discriminate. She blesses all who embrace her. Now the critics, were never able to accomplish anything themselves will try to sell you on the idea that you don't fit in the conventional mold that they acknowledge that produces success they say you need to be more like the current trend to conform to what's popular now to shape your work around the sound that everyone else is getting down to 
to follow their path. The enemy is a born liar. Every time he opens his mouth to give you advice, it's to hear another lie, a distorted form of the truth, a polluted version with destruction as its purpose. Guard the gates of your mind. Any advice other than creating from an environment of truth is deception and should be violently rejected. The world is full of impudent sheep that aren't producing offspring because they procreate with the enemy's lies. The market already has enough of those poor little sheep. What the world seeks is exactly what you have to offer. The more deeply you create from the inner depths of your true identity, the more success will stalk you. Set yourself on fire and they will come for miles to see you burn. Your smoke will be like catnip to the masses. They will flock to you. They will submit to your lead in massive numbers. There's nothing more sexy, more seductive than a person comfortable in their own skin. That's the place that you have to create from to be successful. You gotta be willing to get on the world stage to strip down until you're emotionally naked, unrestrained, completely exposed and danced with originality. Paint, draw, sing, design, produce from that space. That's the place, the factory, the holy land that has produced all the greatness the world has been so honored to experience. So I'm here to tell you right now that you are enough. That's the secret. Truth is the new black, the couture of greatness. God's DNA is on the inside of you. So you have what is enough already. The way of the artist, and we are all artists, is to allow others to truly see you unrestricted, without barriers, insecurities, just a pure and innocent glimpse of God's perfection displayed through you. You are the creator, created by the greatest creator who has never produced anything other than absolute perfection. The route to authenticity is not the shortest route to success. I'm gonna keep it real with you. But it's the only route to what we describe in the world as genius. See, simplicity is the masterpiece. Simply be you, that's it, be you. Greatness. Is having a love affair with yourself. Deep is where the living is. Dive into the black, the unknown that you have known all along. Your work, your craft, your platform is a great big needle and syringe. The world is addicted to confidence. People with self-awareness, they jones for boldness. They're junkies for people with vision. They fiend for people who aren't scared to show vulnerability. So what you gotta do, if you wanna go to that next level, the elite, you gotta shoot the rawest, purest, and most uncut version of you straight into the main vein of your audience. They will feel the chill of truth through every corner of their body, chasing the dragon forever, nodding off, Seeking your drug of self-awareness in this space, on this block. See, there's no competition, but no one can sell a better version of you than you. Become the Pablo Escobar, the El Chapo, selling truth and authenticity. Wrap it up, bang it up, and sell truth by the kilo. Sell it organic, untainted, unhindered love. Sell that to the masses. That's the drug that sells all day. They say dope sells itself. Well, truth is the dope, the real high. It's not that artificial stuff. It's not that carbon copy stuff. It's the real you. 
truth It's the new black The couture For greatness God's DNA is in you Therefore you are enough Stop looking for something that you already have Find a way To deliver fresh innovation By liberating your imagination And your individuality in unconventional ways. Truth is the new black. The couture for greatness. Truth is the designer brand. It's the Gucci, the Louis, the Chanel, the Prada, the Michael Kors, the Dolce and Gabbana of genius. And the legends refuse to wear anything else but this kind of designer. This exotic, rare, and pure form of themselves. Whatever it is you do, your craft, your sport, your business, your relationships, whatever it is. Refuse to add in impurities, false coloring, or lies into your recipe for expression. Display nothing but the absolute truth in your work. And show the world who you really are. Own your emotions. Harness that energy. Redirect the inner desires. Capture that tension with your craft. You and only you will ever be enough. It's you and only you that can quench the thirst the world so longs for. The masses are massively dehydrated. Pour them a tall, refreshing glass of you. Let them taste and drink from that never ending, never ceasing well of perfection. If you want legitimacy in your craft, truth. If you want respect in your field, truth. If you want to taste greatness, truth. You are enough. Create from that space. That's how you honor your maker. This is the gospel for the creative and we are all creators. Salvatore Dali, John Lennon, Ralph Lauren, Bob Dylan, Shakespeare, Leonardo da Vinci, Andy Warhol, Picasso, the legends, all the greats in every field, they understood what I'm telling you here. They understood that truth is enough because truth is the new black, the couture for greatness. And what God put inside you is enough. Now I'm going to tie all this up with the word. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Psalm 139, 14. Truth is the new black. The couture for greatness.